Hi, this is Wendy recording from the Tandy 1000 SX. Today we are going to work with directories in MS-DOS 3.2. Now directories are this, basically the same thing as folders, that's just not what they were referred to then. The first command that you're going to want to know is just the DIR or directory command. If you punch that in, we're on the hard drive now, it's going to display all of the directories and all of the files that reside there. Now you probably noticed it scrolled off the screen rather quick, so we have two things we can do to remedy that. We can use the slash W switch, which is going to display the contents in a wide format, so it goes across the screen instead of nonstop scrolling. There might be times that that might not be ideal, however, so we also have the pause switch, and that is DIR slash P. What that's going to do is basically stop every time it reaches the end of the screen. Then you have to press a key before it keeps going. So that way you can look at all of the contents of a directory um, or hard drive or floppy without things popping off the screen before you even have a chance to read them. Now another thing you're going to want to know how to do is to be able to go back and forth, uh, you know, change, changing directories basically, going into a folder. And that's going to be the change directory command, which is just cd. So you type cd and whatever folder or directory you want to go into. In this case, we're going to go into the directory Daleks. Once there, you take a look at the contents. To go back up one level, you would type change directory and just push two dots. That will go up one level. As you can see, we are back in the root C drive. Now something else you might want to do is actually create a directory. That's going to be done with the mkdir command. Uh, we are already on the root C level, so we'll just go ahead and type what we want our file folder to be called. Let's call it kittens. And we'll go ahead and take a look. And you can see that kittens is very last on the list. Now if you want to remove that or delete the directory that we just made, you're going to use the rd or remove directory command and type the name of the directory you want to remove. And that's basically all that I want to cover today. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you have not already, go ahead and subscribe to this channel. And thank you so much for watching. I will see you next time.